These are the little marmosets, two of our golden-handed tamarins. These are white-faced capuchins, our little pranksters. Carrie Bagnell's Gainesville home has grown into a monkey paradise. It's kind of like the rainforest out here, like they would live in naturally. She's a mom of sorts to hundreds and hundreds of rescued monkeys, 324 in all. These guys live two monkeys, a pair in two by two by two lab cages, and that was their life. Angel was in the iron toxicity studies. Over half the monkeys at Carrie's Jungle Friends Primate Sanctuary were brought here from research labs. Nicotine studies, cocaine studies, malaria studies, um, focal cord studies, and, and then it goes to cognitive studies. Some arrived in rough shape. A lot of times what happens, whether they're in a lab or a pet, and they're by themselves, they go mad and they go crazy and they start pulling out their own hair. Now Carrie gives them the retirement she believes they deserve, a life with all the creature comforts. We want to give them a, a monkey life and introduce them to other monkeys and let them do monkey things. These 26 young squirrel monkeys are her latest arrivals. We call them the FDA boys. They were part of a Food and Drug Administration nicotine study. A study abruptly canceled after four monkeys died. I was excited that that whole study was stopped. They're adjusting to a far different life here, one where they're being groomed to roam on their own. They're still in their lab cages now because we're building for them. And uh, we roll them outside so that they can get used to outside. Carrie had an interior design career. Then her goals shifted in 1992 after she adopted her first orphaned monkey, then another, then dozens more never losing sight of her dream. Ultimately, I would like to see them out of research. I don't know that I'll see it in my lifetime, but that would be the best. Primate labs at Harvard and the National Institutes of Health closed, either because of public uproar or alternatives to animal studies. Yet the number of monkeys used in medical research jumped to an all-time high last year. Most of them are still being euthanized, but the trend is moving toward retirement, so we're really excited about that. One woman's passion has grown to 25 employees and dozens of volunteers. To be able to give them a sanctuary home, to give the monkeys a monkey life. <laughs> Good girl. Well, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires animal testing before a drug can be approved. Animal testing, they say, has led to the development of the 25 most commonly used prescription drugs. But in some cases, they are phasing it out, as you just saw. And as for the sanctuary, if you'd like to find out more, you can go to www.junglefriends.org and find out more about what they are doing.